Hi everyone, welcome to your mats and welcome to your practice today. So through today's class we're going to explore our hip mobility um, and just work into this area of our body. Um, so keeping this in mind, just allowing yourself to approach today's practice um, and every movement that we go through with non-judgment and a little bit of a playful manner, just see how things feel in your body, what you're capable of today and just keeping in mind that whatever you can do today is enough and that is all that matters. So we're going to start today's class in our extended child's pose, bringing the knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch behind you, slowly allowing the sit bones to move towards the heels as you lengthen the arms out in front of you and rest the forehead on the mat. Just start to let the body soften here, start to release any tension, and just start to come into your space to meet yourself here. Observe sensation through physical body and start to become aware of the breath. Start to become conscious of your breathing as you slowly draw every inhale through the nose and slowly release every exhale out the nose. Using this breath to just keep drawing our awareness into our space right now and to just become more present as we let go of any thoughts that do not need to be with us. Seeing if you can slow the breath down more. And then starting to draw our intention of non-awareness to meet us in this moment and deeper into our consciousness so that we can take it through this practice with us. Being non-judgmental of ourselves and meeting all that we do in this class with love and kindness. On your next inhale, start to lengthen through the spine more. Feel the body fill up with air. As we exhale, see if you can drop that chest closer towards the mat. Allow the sit bones to meet the heels. Next inhale, we're gonna start walking the hands over to left side of our mat. Option to interlace right hand into left hand if this feels good for you. Dropping forehead back to mat and then dropping into that right shoulder so that the shoulders are square to the mat. We're still working both sit bones back towards the heels. We're still feeling every slow inhale through the nose and releasing every slow exhale out the nose. Notice the space you're creating down that right side body. Staying like this for one more inhale. Final exhale. Walking the hands back through center as we inhale. Exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Once again, option to interlace left hand with the right fingertips. Drop forehead to mat and then drop back down into that left shoulder. Noticing sensation down that left side body. Feel yourself expanding. Still breathing into every moment, every sensation. Still meeting yourself here in this space. Staying as we are for a final inhale. Final exhale. Next inhale, bring the hands back to center. Stay in your extended child's pose as we exhale. On our next inhale, we're very, gonna, very slowly gonna start to walk the hands a little bit closer to the body. And we're gonna make our way to our tabletop all fours posture. So just taking a moment to make sure you're stacking the wrists directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Once you feel set here, you've got your fingers spread wide, we're gonna take an inhale, start to lengthen through front line of the body as we arch the tailbone up to sky, open through chest or shoulders away from ears, side gaze up 
As we exhale, we round through the spine, draw the belly to meet the spine, push the shoulders towards the sky or ceiling, tuck chin to chest. Inhale. We find that opening through front line of body, opening through chest and tailbone high. Exhale, we found that rounding as we push the spine towards the ceiling or sky, draw belly as far in as we can. Two more like this, inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Last breath out. Coming to find a neutral spine as we inhale. Hold here, feel an engagement through the core as you draw the lower core up and in as we exhale. Next inhale, left leg's gonna raise so that the heel is in line with hip. Activate through that left leg, flex into left toes, pause here, exhale. One more inhale like this. As we exhale, we draw left knee to nose, round through the spine. Inhale, extends left heel back in line with hip. As we exhale, we're gonna draw that left foot out in line with our hip. Inhale, stack the shoulders back above the wrists. And then exhale, drop left foot to the floor. Take an inhale, drop belly to, towards the floor. Open through chest. As we exhale, round through spine, coming to a cat variation. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. And as we do this, lift that left foot off the mat. Exhale, send that left foot back behind left hip. Take an inhale, pause here. Exhale, draw knee to nose, touch. Inhale, lengthen left leg back. Exhale, left leg moves out to the side. Inhale, restack the shoulders above the wrists. And exhale, drop left foot to mat. Inhale, come to find your cow variation. Open through chest. As we exhale, we come to find cat variation, draw belly to spine, push shoulders to sky. Inhale, neutral spine, as we do this, that left leg lifts. Exhale, send left foot back in line with hip. Last round, inhale, draw knee to nose. Exhale, extend leg out behind you. Inhale, hold here. Exhale, draw that foot out in line with the hip. Inhale, restack the shoulders above the wrist. Exhale, drop left foot to mat. Inhale, drops belly towards the mat, open through chest, slight gaze up. Exhale, round through that spine, push the floor away from you. Inhale, neutral spine. As we do this, we draw that left foot off the mat in line with hip. As we exhale, send foot back in line with hip. Pause here for an inhale. Final knee to nose, exhale. Hold here as we inhale. See if you can draw the knee closer to the nose. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, extend that leg back behind you. We're gonna pause in space, exhale. Next inhale, we're gonna start to shift our weight onto right side of the body. Distributing the weight equally between that right hand and right knee. And then we're gonna start to lift that left arm in line with left shoulder. Start opening through that left hip. If this is too much for you, just bring that right heel a little bit more behind the knee. Otherwise, if you're looking for a challenge, try and keep that right heel in line with right knee. So as we inhale, we're gonna reach the left fingertips towards front of our mat, drop the left toes towards the back, send the hips high. As we exhale, we're gonna come up and crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, lengthen, find that side stretch. Exhale, move with breath, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale with breath crunch. Try and send that left knee high, not in front of you. Inhale, lengthen. Last two. Exhale, crunch. Final one. Inhale with that breath. Keep the breath slow. Exhale. Come back to that supported side plank as we inhale. Exhale, we're going to drop just left hand back to mat, keeping left leg raised. Next inhale, we're going to tuck the right toes and draw that right knee to hover just off the mat. Pause here, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, drop right knee and tuck right toes and draw left knee to hover next to right. Take an inhale, we're going to send that left knee up in line with the hip. Exhale, lower it down. Two 
two more like that. Inhale up. Exhale down. Try and keep shoulders stacked above wrists. Core strong. Inhale. Final exhale. Take left knee down. Drop it to the mat. Moving on to the other side. We're going to inhale. Raise that right heel in line with right hip. As we exhale, we're just going to pause here. Feel ourselves engage the core. And notice that activation through right leg. Final inhale like this before we start moving. Exhale, draw knee to nose, round through spine. Inhale, extend right leg back. Exhale, draw right foot out in line with right hip. Inhale, shift shoulders back above the wrists. Exhale, drop right foot to right side of the mat. Inhale, drop the belly towards the spine, open through chest, finding our cow variation. As we exhale, round through spine, draw chin to tuck into chest, cat variation. Inhale, find neutral spine. As we do this, lift that right foot off the mat. Exhale, right foot back in line with right hip. Take an inhale here. Exhale, draw knee to nose touch. Inhale, send it back behind you. Exhale, right foot out in line with hip. Inhale, shift shoulders back above wrists. Exhale, drops that right foot to right side of mat or room. Inhale, lengthen through body, open through chest. Exhale, draw belly to spine, round in that upper back. Inhale, neutral spine. As we do this, lift right foot off mat. Exhale, draw right foot back in line with right hip. Pause in space, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Our final round. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, draw right foot out in line with hip. Pause here, inhale, lift it higher, stack shoulders above wrist. Exhale, drop that foot. Inhale, we drop belly to mat, open through chest. Exhale, round through spine, tuck chin in. Inhale, neutral spine as we do this, lift right foot off mats. Exhale, right foot back behind right hip. We're gonna pause here, inhale. Exhale, draw right knee to nose. We're gonna hold. Stay up for a full inhale. Squeeze deeper, exhale. Beautiful, next inhale, extend right foot back in line with right hip. Let's pause in space, full, slow, exhale. Next inhale starts to shift weight onto our left side body. Distributing weight between left hand and left knee. Lifting right hand up in line with the shoulder. Remember you can bring that left heel a little bit behind the knee for more support if you need. Next inhale, let's lengthen, reach fingertips towards front of mat, toes towards back. As we exhale, we crunch knee to elbow, send that right knee high. Inhale, lengthen, find that side stretch. Send hips high, exhale, we find that crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen side body, reach, extend. Exhale, crunch knee to elbow. Beautiful, two more, inhale. Still moving with that breath, exhale. Last inhale. Last exhale. Next inhale, let's find ourselves back in that supported side plank. Beautiful, with control, exhale, lower just right hand to mat. Next inhale, we're going to tuck under the left toes, hop a left knee just above the mat. Pause here, let's stay strong, exhale. One more inhale, feel the burn. Exhale, drop left knee, untuck left toes, bring right knee to hover next to left. Next inhale, let's lift right knee up in line with right hip. Exhale, slowly bring it down with control. Inhale, knee comes up in line with hip. Exhale, slowly lower right knee back down to hover. Last one, make it strong. Inhale, open through that right hip. Exhale, lower. Place right knee to mat. Beautiful. Next inhale, let's tuck the toes. And exhale, make our way to our first downward facing dog. So maybe just allow yourself to find a pedal in the feet here, maybe some other movement, swaying the hips, anything that feels good for your body. Maybe there's some tension in the neck, you just wanna shake the head, yes, yeah, shake the head, no, let it all go. And just allow yourself to move until you're ready to find stillness. 
making sure that wherever you are in your down dog, your fingers are spread wide on the mat, you're grounding through the entire hand and activating through the arms to push your chest towards your thighs. We're lengthening through the spine, sending tailbone up towards the sky or ceiling. Our legs either have a slight bend in them to keep that spine straight, otherwise we're activating through the legs, really trying to ground the heels into mat, feet hip width distance apart. Wherever you are in your down dog, coming into this moment, non-judgment, just love, just kindness. On our next inhale, we're gonna take our gaze towards the top of the mat. As we exhale, step by step, walking the feet to meet the hands. Next inhale, halfway lift, raise through spine. As we exhale, Uttanasana, our forward fold. We're gonna hold our forward fold for a full inhale. Hold your fold for an exhale. Next inhale, we're gonna reach our fingertips up towards the sky, bring the hands to touch, slight gaze up. Exhale, bring your hands down through heart center. Inhale, reaching arms high, high mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. As we exhale, we're gonna plant the hands and step back to our downward facing dog. Next inhale, we're gonna raise through our left leg, starting on the left side today. As we exhale, we're gonna open left hip, bend left knee. So trying to work left knee towards the sky, left heel towards the sit bones, still keeping right foot straight on the mat, and still trying to push the chest back towards the thighs. So from here, we're just gonna, with our breath, find some circular movements through that left knee and left hip by drawing the knee outwards and then in towards right knee. Moving for about three or four rounds. And then we're gonna switch over to the other way. So drawing left knee in first, next to right, then opening through that hip. Finishing your last circle. And meeting back with left hip open. Take an inhale, we're gonna straighten through left leg, square left hip, three-legged down dog. As we exhale, draw knee towards nose, pause, stay here, inhale. Exhale, step right foot between the hands, drop down, left foot, sorry, drop down right knee, untuck right toes. Inhale, we reach the arms high, find our low lunge. Exhale, shoulders move away from ears, hips gravitate towards mats. Staying for one more inhale. Exhale, hands to mats. Inhale, tuck under right toes, step right foot forward, next to left, halfway lift. As we exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, reach arms high, come to find high mountain, gaze up. Exhale, bring hands to prayer, heart center. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, flat back, swan dive to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, we step left foot back, drop down left knee, untuck left toes. We inhale, reach the arms high, find our low lunge. Exhale, hips gravitate towards mat, shoulders away from ears. So on our next inhale, we're gonna bring the hands to interlace at the base of our head. And then as we exhale, we're just gonna pause here, open through the elbows, open through the chest. Next inhale, find length through front line of body. As we exhale, we're gonna draw left elbow back, right elbow forward. Beautiful, next inhale, come back to center. Try to keep the hips as they are. Exhale, right elbow back, left elbow forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands, bring hands to max. Next inhale, tuck under the left toes, engage left leg. Exhale, step right foot back, next to left high plank. Take an inhale in your high plank. As we exhale, chaturanga of your choice. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Staying in our down dog for an inhale. Holding, exhale. Moving on to right side, next inhale, right leg raises, three legged. As we exhale, we open right hip, bend right knee. So we're trying to send right knee up towards the ceiling.
ceiling or sky, the right heel draws in towards the sit bones. We're still pushing our chest back, still trying to ground left heel to the mat. On our next inhale, let's start making circular movements, taking right knee out first, drawing it in, opening back up. Moving for about two more movements, yeah. You're still breathing through this. And then we're gonna switch the movement around. So bringing right knee next to left first, taking it out and opening it here. Just noticing what it feels like in that right hip. And then finishing your last one meeting with that right hip open. Next inhale, straighten right leg, three legged down dog. Square hips, exhale, draw knee to nose. Pause here, inhale. Exhale, drop that right foot between the hands, drop down left knee, untuck left toes. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hips gravitate towards mat, shoulders away from ears. One more inhale as we are. Exhale, we bring hands to mat. Inhale, we tuck on the left toes and as we step forward, we find a halfway lift. As we exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, reaches the arms high, high mountain gaze up. Exhale, draws hands to heart center at prayer. Inhale, reaching hands high, high mountain. Exhale, swan dive, flat back all the way through to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we step right foot back, drop down right knee, untuck right toes. Inhale, reach the arms high. Pause, exhale. Taking an inhale here. Exhale, we bring hands to interlace, face of head. So next inhale, just open through the arms, find length in front line of body. As we exhale, send right elbow back, left elbow forward. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, we draw left elbow back, right forward. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands, bring hands to mat. Inhale, tuck under right toes, engage right leg off the mat. Exhale, step back, high plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga of your choice, either knees, chest, chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Staying in our down dog for an inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Next inhale, left leg raises. Exhale, open through left hip and send left knee high, left heel towards sit bones. We're staying here for an inhale. Staying, exhale. Next inhale, we're gonna straighten through that left leg, square the hips. As we exhale, we're gonna bring weight forward, send left foot out in line with left hip. Pause here, inhale, become really strong. Beautiful, exhale, back to your three leg down dog. Next inhale, pause here. Exhale, knee to nose, touch. Hold, inhale. Exhale, step foot between hands, drop down back knee, untuck toes. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, sink deeper. Final inhale as we are. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, tuck under right toes, step right foot next to left, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching the arms high, high mountain. Exhale, hands through prayer, heart center. Take an inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, swan dive, flat back, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift, flat back. As we exhale, ground the hand, step left foot back, drop down, left knee, untuck left toes. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, pause. One more inhale as we are. As we exhale, we're gonna bring hands to mat. We're gonna start to walk that right foot out to right side of the mat, bringing right hand to the inside of right foot too. And then we're gonna take an inhale whenever you're ready, draw the hips down towards the mat, try and open through front line of chest. Taking one more inhale like this. As we exhale, allow yourself to rotate onto outer edge of right foot so all five toes come off the mat. And then allow that right knee to gravitate away from the body. So 
normally what we would do is take right hand to right knee and push into our flexibility. Today we're keeping hands on the mat and we're seeing where that right knee can go without us pushing into flexibility. We're going to stay up for an inhale. See if you can draw hips deeper to mat, push right knee away, exhale. Next inhale, right arm's going to raise, coming to a twisted variation. As we exhale, extend the right fingertips towards the back of the mat, draw hips deeper. Stay here for an inhale, stay, exhale. So you're either going to stay here if this is enough for you, otherwise if this feels good, we're going to use activation through left glute to draw left heel towards left sit foot. So once again, normally we would grab foot to hand, hand to foot and then draw into our flexibility. Today we're going to not. We're going to use our mobility, our engagement, our own body strength and hold here. Lower left foot to mat. Inhale, bring right hand back next to right foot. Ground right foot to the mat. Exhale, let's pause in space. Inhale, tuck under those left toes, engage left leg. Exhale, slowly and controlled, step right foot back, high plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga of your choice. Inhale, low cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Staying in our down dog for a full breath in. Remember, whenever you need to exhale, you can release the breath. Moving on to right side, inhale, right leg raises, come to find a three legged. As we exhale, open hip, bend knee. We're just going to pause here, take an inhale. Stay full, exhale. Next inhale, come to straighten through that right leg and then square the hip, exhale. We're going to start to shift weight forward, coming to a high plank, bringing right foot out in line with hip. Pause here, inhale. Exhale, send that right foot back, three-legged. Take an inhale here. Exhale, draw right knee towards nose. Pause, inhale. Exhale, step foot between the hands, drop down left knee and tuck left toes. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hold. Feel those hips opening up. Final inhale here. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, step left foot forward next to right. As you do so, finding a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, we reach arms high, come to find our high mountain. Exhale, bring hands down, finding a prayer at heart center. Inhale, reaching arms high, high mountain. Exhale, we swan dive all the way through to our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back. We drop down right knee, untuck right toes. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hold. One more inhale like this. Exhale, hands come to mat. So now we're going to start to, as we inhale, walk that left foot to the left side of the mat. Left hand comes to the inside of left foot. Exhale, we draw hips to mat. Inhale, we start to see if we can find more length through the spine, more opening through that chest. And then as we exhale, we're going to allow ourselves to come off of those left toes, coming onto outer edge of left foot. And left knee starts to gravitate towards the body. So we're just using pure activation through that left thigh, left hip area to see how far that left knee can move away from the body without us pushing into flexibility. Staying for an inhale. Let's see if we can draw deeper into this exhale. Nice. Next inhale. Start to raise left arm high. Pause. Exhale. Staying in. And then exhale, let's send the left fingertips towards the back of the mat, still keeping that left knee moving away from body. So remember, you have the option to stay here if this is feeling enough for you today. Meeting this posture, this asana, with complete kindness, complete acceptance, and complete not judgment. Otherwise, if you're moving deeper, we inhale, start to engage through left glutes, and start to draw right glutes, sorry, start to draw right heel towards right sit bone. So we're not grabbing that foot or drawing into flexibility today. We're seeing where we can go. Just using our pure body capabilities. 
up your strength. Final inhale like this. As we exhale, slowly lowering right foot back to mat. Inhale, bring that left arm back to mat. Flatten left foot. Exhale, let's just take a moment, pause and feel the breath. Next inhale, we tuck under right toes, engage right leg. Exhale with control, step back, high plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, moving through a chaturanga of your choice. Inhale, low cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, we find ourselves in our downward facing dog. So we're gonna take a nice inhale through the nose. If it feels good for you, we're gonna exhale, big sigh, release the breath out the mouth. One more like that, inhale through nose. Let it all go, exhale. Finding a normal, slow, steady inhale. Slow, steady exhale. On our next inhale, we're gonna raise through that left leg, come to find a three-legged down dog. Exhale, open hip, bend knee. Take an inhale as we are here. Hold, exhale. Next inhale, straighten legs, square the hip. Exhale, we draw left knee to left elbow. We pause here, inhale, let's see if we can lift it higher. And exhale, slowly step left foot to the outside of left hand. So coming to find the runner's lunge, taking an inhale here. Holding exhale. We're gonna stay up on the hands for now. We're gonna just find some movement into the hips. So finding little circles here and then moving in one direction for about four or five rotations and then changing direction. I just find this feels really juicy. I really get to work into that left hip area. And then we're all gonna come to find our next inhale in stillness. Pause, exhale. So on your next inhale, you're gonna start to walk the hands towards right side of the mat. As you do so, bring the left toes to face right side of the mat. Find a flex into those right toes and activate through right leg. Coming to find our skandhasana. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you're just gonna bring a block underneath that right leg to hold yourself here. Maybe even under the sit bones. Otherwise, if this feels good for you, just holding here. We are going to be moving through this posture, so just find a point where you can stay. So we're going to stay here for one more inhale. Final exhale. Next inhale, we shift weight into right leg. Come to find a warrior two back of the mat. Arms come in line with shoulders gazing over middle finger of right hand. We're going to pause here. Exhale. Make sure you've got that right knee stuck above right ankle, opening through left hip. One more inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna send left hand down the back of left leg, reach right fingertips up. Come to find a reverse warrior, pause, inhale. Final exhale. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. This time as we exhale, come back to Skandasana, left leg bends, right leg straightens. Stay here for an inhale. Hold, exhale. Inhale, shift weight back, warrior two, back of the mat. Pause, exhale. Next inhale, bringing right elbow onto right knee, reaching left fingertips up and over that left ear. Hold, exhale. One more inhale like this. Option to take the right fingertips towards the mat. One more exhale. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, back to Skandasana, moving through those hips. Staying for an inhale. Staying for an exhale. So next inhale, we're going to move to Skandasana with left leg straight, right leg bent, staying as low as we can. Pause here, exhale. Next inhale, let's bring the hands to the mat, bring the feet, hip, just past hip distance, halfway lift. And as we exhale, we're going to come to a wide leg forward fold. We're just going to hold here for an inhale. Pause, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, rebend into right leg, left leg straighten. Stay up for an inhale. Hold, exhale. Next inhale, we shift to a warrior two facing the front of our mats. 
left knee is bent, stacked above left ankle, right hip is opening back. Taking an inhale here, breathe, exhale. So we're gonna try keep the hips exactly as they are. Next inhale, just come onto the right, left ball of the left foot. Exhale, slowly lower left heel to max. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale, keep the hips exactly where they are. Inhale, raise left heel. Exhale, lower, beautiful. Next inhale, shift weight into left foot. Exhale, find yourself in your half moon. Hold in here for an inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna square right hip with left, bring hands and prayer and heart center, warrior three variation. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, bend into left knee, bring right knee to the outside of left calf. Inhale, come back, warrior three. Exhale, pause. Inhale, we're gonna open back up into our half moon. Draw that right hip open. Exhale, close right hip, come back, warrior three. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Right knee comes to the outside Shiva squat. Inhale, come back, warrior three. Pause, exhale, last time. Stay with me, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Remember, if you fall, that's perfectly fine. We're human. Take an inhale, warrior three. Exhale, knee to outside of calf. Inhale, come back, warrior three. Beautiful, exhale, we're gonna step back, high lunge. Take an inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to mats. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga variation of your choice. Inhale, low cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, we push back, downward facing dog. Maybe joining me for a releasing breath. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. Big sigh, exhale, release out the mouth. And then just connecting back to that breath, making sure that intention of non-judgment is still completely present in your awareness. We're loving what our bodies are capable of right now in this practice. Preparing to move final inhale as we are, downward facing dog. Final exhale. Next inhale, right leg's gonna raise, come to find a three-legged. Exhale, open hip, bend knee. Staying for an inhale. Staying, exhale. Inhale, we're gonna start to draw that right leg to a three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw right knee to elbow touch. Inhale, let's see if we lift it higher towards the armpit. And exhale, slowly step left foot to the outside of the left, right step right foot to the outside of right hand runner's lunge so just taking a moment here we're going to start to find those rotations with the breath moving in one direction for for about four or five rotations feel this juicy movement working into that right hip and then switch the direction on our next inhale we all going to come to find stillness here Gonna pause in space, exhale. So on our next inhale, we start to walk hands towards the left side of the mat. We rotate that right foot so it's facing left side of the mat and we start to flex through left leg. Maybe bringing hands in prayer, maybe grabbing your block if you need to. Coming to find your skandasana. So we're holding here for an inhale. Holding, exhale. Next inhale, we start to shift weight into left leg. Time to find a warrior two facing back of room, back of mat. We pause here, exhale, make sure that that left knee is stacked above left ankle. One more inhale as we are. Exhale, we come to reverse warrior, right hand slides down right leg, left fingertips reach for the front of the mat, which is our back right now. Next inhale, come back up warrior two. As we exhale, we're gonna shift back skandasana, right knee bends, left leg straightens. Stay for an inhale. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, we come back. Warrior two. Back of mat. Exhale, pause. Inhale as we are. Exhale, we bring left forearm onto left thigh. Right fingertips reach over right ear. If this feels good for you, option to bring left fingertips towards the mat. Staying for an inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, let's come back up. Warrior two. Exhale, skandasana, right knee bends, left leg straightens. 
Inhale as we are. Exhale, pause. So as we inhale, we're gonna to move to Skandasana with left knee bent, staying as low as we can. Beautiful exhale, hold. Next inhale, bring hands to the mat, straighten through both legs. Make sure both toes are facing towards the left side of the mat. As we exhale, let's find a wide leg forward fold. We're only staying here for an inhale. Pause, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, we re-bend into left knee, flex right foot. Take an inhale, we're gonna shift weight into right leg, warrior two, front of mat. Pause, exhale. So just make sure that that front knee is stacked above front ankle. When you're ready, find your next inhale. We're gonna raise right heel off the mat. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, keep the hips exactly where they are. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, breathe with me. Exhale. Next inhale, shift weight into right foot. Come to find your half moon. As we exhale, pause. So inhale, holding here. And this exhale, we start to square left hip off with right, bring hands to meet in prayer at heart center. Hold this warrior three for an inhale. Exhale, bring a bend into right knee, left knee to the outside of right calf, Shiva. Inhale, come back up, warrior three. Exhale, hold. Inhale, we start to open left hip, open through the arms, find that half moon variation. Exhale, close left hip with right, warrior three. Pause, warrior three for an inhale. Feel the burn in that right leg. Exhale, Shiva squats. Inhale, come back up, warrior three. Pause, exhale. Stay with me, last time, inhale, open up. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, pause. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale, come back up, warrior three. This time, slow control, step back, high lunge. Just pausing in high lunge for an inhale. Before exhale, bringing hands to mat. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, a bend, bear. Variation of your choice as we move through Chaturanga. Inhale, low cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, let's push back, downward facing dog. Let's stay up for one full breath in through the nose. Option to join me in big sigh, releasing breath from the mouth. Coming back to find our extended child's pose as we inhale. And exhale, just soften into this. Staying here for a few breaths, just allowing yourself to notice how the body feels. Notice how the hips feel. Slow that breath back down. Meeting yourself in this child posture with love, with kindness, with non-judgment. Final inhale as we are. Final exhale. Next inhale, slowly starting to walk the hands back towards the body, making our way back to our downward facing dog, the last down dog of the day. Exhale, see if you can move deeper. So on our next inhale, we're gonna gaze towards the hands. As we exhale, we're gonna bend into the knees, send the sit bones back. As we inhale, we're gonna make it as slow and light as we can. We're gonna hop the feet to the outside of the hands. Exhale, we're gonna sink hips low. Next inhale, we're gonna jump back to a bent knee position. And exhale, find down dog. So we're gonna move through another three of those. Just play around with them. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend knees, slow jump. Inhale. Exhale, sit hips low. Inhale, find your bent knee posture. Exhale, straighten legs down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, hop. Exhale, sit, sit, sit bones low. Inhale, come back, bend knee posture. Exhale, down dog. Last one. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend knees. Find your hop when you're ready. And exhale, sit bones low. So we're gonna hold here now. So we're gonna come to find our yogi squat, bringing the elbows to the inside of knees, trying to lengthen through the spine as much as you can. I'm gonna face you. 
So, right now we're busy pushing into our flexibility here. So what we're going to do, a little bit of a challenge, we're going to see if we can remove the elbows from the knees, bring the hands in line with shoulders, and keep the knees as wide as they were. So now start to activate through the legs, drawing the knees back, opening through the hips, still lengthening through the spine, taking one more inhale as we are. And as we exhale, let's slowly and controlled place the sit bones down to mats. Let's see if we can avoid using our hands. Inhale, bring soles of the feet to touch. Bring the shoulders up above the hips, fingertips up above the shoulders. Exhale, let's see if we can soften those knees more. One more inhale like this. And exhale, we can fold into our Baddha Konasana forward fold. So just allow the spine to round now as we start to move into relaxation. Relax the neck. Relax the upper body. Let the knees soften to mat. Let the hips open up. Staying like this for two more breaths. Final inhale. Final exhale. Next inhale, very slowly walk the hands back towards the body, shoulders back up above the hips. And exhale, let's use the hands to draw the knees in towards each other. Grabbing onto each knee with each hand. Whenever you're ready, very slowly making your way down onto your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Eventually drawing the knees in towards the body. Finding a gentle rock from left to right. Beautiful, and then pausing in center. Next, inhale, extend left leg out in front of you. Exhale, interlace hands around that right shin, draw right thigh closer to body. Take an inhale, left hand to right knee, right arm extends in line with right shoulder. Exhale, slowly draw that right knee over to left side. Option to gaze over right hand. I wasn't built for this. Allowing your body to soften into this twist. Feel the belly rise and fall. Trying to keep that right shoulder glued to the mat. If you feel comfortable to do so, allow the eyes to find the clothes. Gently resting them. Allowing yourself to be in your body in this twist, breathing, so controlling that breath, slowing it down, a shine a light, feeling the sensations in the body with the breath. Final inhale as we are. Final exhale. Next inhale, slowly draw right knee back to center. Exhale, swapping over, left knee in, right leg extends out in front of you. Find an interlace of the hands around that left shin as you inhale. Exhale, draw left thigh closer to body. Inhale, we take right hand to left knee, left arm alongside left shoulder. Exhale, slowly draw left knee over to right side of your space. Option to gaze over that left hand, option to close the eyes if it feels comfortable for you to do so. Try and keep that left shoulder grounded into mats and try and move deeper into the body. Connecting to that breath, connecting to sensations, noticing the rise and fall of the belly in this twist. Staying for a final two breaths. Final exhale. Next inhale, come back to center. As we exhale, let's draw right knee in to meet left, grabbing onto both shins. Taking our next inhale, we're going to squeeze the eyebrows up towards the kneecaps. Exhale, we're going to see if we can squeeze ourselves tighter, maybe bringing the hands further into this little constriction. Stay for another inhale. Squeeze tighter, exhale. This is our final inhale in this little ball of constriction. 
As we exhale, big sigh, release the breath from mouth, release this posture, come to find Shavasana. So now allowing yourself to bring the heels as wide as the mat, allow the toes to flop out to either side of your space. Allow yourself to soften the arms alongside the body with a slight gap between the arms and the body. Feel the shoulders become heavy into the mat, feel this gentle length across that chest and the neck as long as you tuck the chin in slightly. We start to allow the physical body to soften into the mat beneath us. Our eyes come to rest close. We start to release this urge to control the physical body. And we start to feel the slight disconnect between ourselves and the physical body as we surrender into our Shavasana. Allowing ourselves to move our awareness to a little bit of a deeper stillness within us. We detach from thoughts, we detach from any judgments. And we allow ourselves to move into this time that is so sacred, that is so ours. to your physical self and start to wriggle through the fingers and wriggle through the toes just to bring sensation back into the body. When you're ready on your next inhale, start to reach the arms up above the body. Find a beautiful full body stretch. As we exhale, release the breath, allow the body to become soft. Next inhale, we're just going to draw the right knee in towards the body and use this right knee to very gently bring ourselves up to a seat, keeping the eyes closed if you can. And then allowing the hands to meet in prayer heart center. And allowing yourself to just feel the sense of gratitude for moving through a practice and honoring yourself non-judgment, with love, and with kindness. Before we close, I just want to remind you that no matter what you meet on your mats, in your practice, every day, or no matter what you face in life, you are capable enough to get through it. You are enough exactly as you are today. 
So just continue to meet yourself with non-judgment, with love, and with kindness. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. Namaste.